As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this can harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Hey, we must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. But we're also really pushing the boundaries in terms of where we're going forward with exploration. I think uh, humans are naturally driven to do this, and this is really the beginning, I think, of human beings leaving low Earth orbit. I certainly plan on being around to see that. Uh, the plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is that is much bigger than what we have today, and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. We only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to, and we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. Once we, once we travel beyond low Earth orbit, the crew will be exposed to larger amounts of radiation. So we have to design both the crew protection systems and our electronic systems to withstand this radiation. So that but didn't we already go to the moon and go through the Van Allen radiation belts in 69? How come we can't go now? Go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we... Uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again oh right, right 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 you had it in 69 but now we're in 2017 and we have all this amazing technology and we don't know how to get back to the moon again